I think it will become a reality. I think that the House is in peril of losing its majority if it does nothing. Because the last thing the House did was say, let's deport everybody. They passed something that said, let's deport a load of kids and everybody else. They can't leave it that way. So let's follow it through. So you work on the theory that there are probably 25 to 30 Republicans who are vulnerable if that's the last thing they do on immigration. So they have to do something, and the Republican leadership in the House knows that. Speaker Boehner knows that. At the same time, they can't do it without Democrats. That's the interesting thing here. Sure. And that's because there are about 40 Republicans in the House who will vote for nothing. I think 19, at last count, signed a letter saying we will not do anything uh, we will not vote for anything because we're afraid of what happens in conference. But if you put that, and one other point, unlike the fiscal issues where almost the entire Republican Party is united, none of them want revenues, all of them want to cut, 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 on, on immigration reform, there's a division in their party, and mainstream and hard-right conservatives are for immigration reform. Rupert Murdoch, uh, I think some of the Koch brothers or some, I don't know, they've voiced some positive things about immigration reform. Conservative, Tea Party-like conservatives, uh, Cantor, um, uh, Ryan in the House, are for immigration reform. The economic conservatives are for it. The populist Tea Party wing so, uh, is not for it. So the fact that there is a division in the Republican ranks, the fact that they know they have to do something, means we're going to get something done.